Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a hidden Markov model, guys. So this is an interesting model, you can say. So basically, this model is also a type of a, I don't know how to say, but it is a type of a model or in which if you if I say the outputs, you can say the order in which the input has been traveled. So it is some kind of a, I don't know how to explain it, guys. Okay, yes. So let us go through the theoretical part so you can understand something, right? Yes. So hidden Markov model (HMM) is a statistical Markov model in which the system being modeled assumed to be a Markov process with unobserved states that is nothing but our hidden states guys so basically you will be having a start state you'll be having some hidden states after that you'll be having the output states guys so basically they will enter into this okay so you cannot see the hidden layers guys you will only know the output so based on the output we can guess the layer guess the above layers so this is possible in hidden markov layer guys sorry hidden markov model guys okay so hidden markov model are used to generate other models based on the inputs i told you right so based on the inputs you can generate outputs and based on this concept you can generate some models okay so some basic terminology in hmm is nothing but the term hidden refers to the first order markov process behind the observations okay you'll be understanding it guys don't worry so observation refers to the data which we are using okay so here assume so you are starting from here right so this is a probability graph you can say in simple words so from a start you are having two op options it might be rainy or it might be sunny the outside situation so here we are having probability 0.6 and here we are having probability 0.4 in total we are having probability 1 so any layer if you combine from a point the outgoing probability will always be 1 guys remember it that's a trick you can say to check whether the question is correct or wrong whether you are doing correct or wrong okay yes so from start you are having two options it is rainy or sunny so there is a probability of a being rainy 0 0.6 and being sunny 0 0.4 okay so from a rainy okay so there is a probability that even if it is raining you might be going for walking which is 0.1 similarly for going to shop it is 0.4 similarly to clean your house it is 0.5 so in this way the probabilities are assigned guys so in simple words you can say this is also a type of classification method okay okay so here we use finite state machine to represent so basically this is somewhat looks like a finite state machine right yes so this looks like it is having some output arrows it's having some value so finite state machine we have already discussed in automata guys finite state automata right yes okay so here rainy and sunny are the hidden layers so basically these are the hidden layers so assume that i told i went to walking on the first day and second day i went to shopping and the third day I, I i told i i cleaned my whole house so in this situation you can say the order in which the temperature is there you can say rainy rainy sunny for my particular order so that thing we can find guys so we'll be discussing about two methods in the next two lectures guys okay so don't worry okay yes so walking shop clean are some observations okay similarly moving on here whatever we add things always sum up with the probability one guys so any layer if you add the outcoming edges it will be one remember that okay yes so application so the applications of hmm are you can we can use it for online hand hand right handwritten recognition guys so handwriting recognition we can use similarly speech recognition gesture recognition language modeling motion video analysis tracking stock price prediction and all those things it could be used in various places guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on it right yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about one of the most popular method you can say which is used in hidden markov method that is nothing but viterbi method guys okay yes so in the next lecture let us discuss about it guys okay okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching